you can pause the video and attempt it yourselves. It says the figure above shows a unit circle in the complex plane. What that means is the x-axis is really the real axis, and the y-axis is actually the imaginary axis. It says which of the following points could represent the multiplicative inverse? Uh, as a general concept, the multiplicative, the multiplicative inverse of, say, A is basically 1 over A. So the product will give you 1, all right? That's the multiplicative inverse. So the question says... Which of the following points could represent the multiplicative inverse of the complex number represented by P, which is here, which has coordinates negative 0 0.4 comma 0 0.3? Now, the way complex numbers behave, uh, we could use this decimal, or we could actually make it easy, and I could just operate on, say, negative 4 comma 3, so there are no decimals. Uh, I could actually just say negative a comma b or negative x comma y. My absolute final answer will remain the same. It will not be changed by the actual magnitude of these coordinates. All right. But otherwise, I'm just going to choose this guy for the ease of calculation. So in other words, uh, the question wants the multiplicative inverse of negative 4, comma 3, and that's basically equivalent to the complex number negative 4 plus 3i. Okay, You're in the second quadrant, so the x value is negative, and the y value is positive. And the complex number in the complex uh, plane, it's represented as negative 4, comma 3, but otherwise, as a regular complex number written as z equals, it's negative 4 plus 3i. So we really want, the question is asking for, uh, negative one over negative four plus three i. That's really the question. It says, tell us which quadrant will this complex number lie in. And the way to determine that is to get rid of the complex number in the denominator. The way we do that is you multiply by the conjugate. So you keep the real component the same, and you flip the sign of the imaginary component. Uh, I will multiply top and bottom by the conjugate because I'm basically multiplying by 1 indirectly. So I'm going to just simplify. So the numerator becomes negative 4 minus 3i. And the denominator, I can either FOIL, you can use parentheses, I can just distribute the two expressions in the denominator. Or if you're observant, this guy is negative 4, that's negative 4, that's 3i, and that's 3i. The only difference between these two guys is the middle sign. The middle sign has flipped. So it's negative 4 plus 3i, negative 4 minus 3i. So we can actually do difference of squares. So that's faster. Negative 4 square minus 3i square. I'm going to simplify that. So you have negative 4 minus 3i all over. Negative 4 square is 16 minus 3 square is 9, and then i square is negative 1. Do not forget, i square is negative 1 for complex numbers or imaginary numbers. So the denominator really becomes 16 plus 9, which is 25. The numerator is negative 4 minus 3i, and pretty much on the last step, over 25, which can be re rewritten as negative 4 over 25, minus 3i over 25. In other words, in the complex plane, if I were to plot it, it's basically negative 4 over 25, comma, negative 3 over 25, which is clearly in quadrant 3. Okay, Both the x and y values are negative. So clearly in quadrant 3. So that would be point C. So it would be choice C. Thank you.